the marketing pool and Robert Gate with your host. And we are doing an extended year end holiday show. And glad to have you listening, many of you for the first time. Never too late. Let's talk about never too late to dream new dreams or revisit dream deferred. Somebody wrote a poem, What Happened to a Dream Deferred? You know, your dream, it's okay to defer it or to put it off for a moment, but don't throw it away. And I'm going to tell you why this may be the perfect time. As you start to lay out your plans for 2024 and beyond, I'm going to tell you why this may be a good time. I'm going to tell you some unique benefits of why the, that the dream deferred may be better. It may be more of an opportune time now than it was when you originally had it. I'm, I'm going to use the Gatewood Brothers as an example. When we were young, we used to compare ourselves to the Jacksons and the Silvers and Switch and the Barge. It's like, why them and not us? Well, circumstances were different. We decided to go to college, get degrees, pursue careers. Look out for the younger kids behind us. All kind of reasons. But the time just may not have been right. If you want to be an attorney, uh, if you want to be a, a CPA, an author, a radio host, the time may not have been right then. Because of these reasons, I'm going to tell you why it's never too late and why now may be the right time. Because now with age comes a clearer sense of purpose. Are you 18, 20, 30 years old? You don't know what you want to be. You're guessing. You're basing it sometimes on what other folks told you you should be. Your parents say you should be this. Your friends. You saw something on TV. You didn't have a clue what you wanted to be. You put a little life under your belt. It gets very clear. You also start to realize, do I still have time to do it? I'm telling you today, you do. Also, age brings wisdom, not just about that dream, but about life. You've got a wealth of experience under your belt. And much of that experience is transferable from your job, from your family life, into that dream and aspiration that you have. This may be the perfect time to pursue that dream. What I've discovered as I've gotten older is that I have a new appreciation for time. Man, when you're young, you can kill some time. I never forget my, my brothers and my cousins. We go out and play ball and come and sit on the couch in my folks' living room. Mom be saying, get your foot off the chair. He's sitting there, sitting on that, that plastic couch and getting stuck to the seat, <laughs> sweating all this time in our hands. Man, I would love to have some of that time back. But because now I appreciate time, the time that I do have left is going to be 10 times more valuable and appreciated and productive than the time that I wasted in my youth. That's why this may be the perfect time. Something else age brings you, determination. Man, when you're young, you get one road bump, one bump in the road, you're ready to give it up. Oh, man, I missed my bus. I'm going to change my plans. <laughs> I found out I have an allergy. I can't do this now. Let me go do something else. These things don't happen as you get older. When you determine, you're determined. You're not so easily dissuaded. That's why this may be the right time to do it. Tell you some else this happens too as you get older. You get a few coins under your belt. <laughs> some of you people now, you've accumulated some wealth and you have made things possible that may not have been possible during other periods because of the financial obligations that are required to pursue this dream. Gateway brother, we're driving up and down the road. When I was 10, 15, 20 years ago, man, I'm trying to pay bills. <laughs> trying to get this child through school. I'm trying to pay that mortgage. As you get older, 
Now you have some time. You got some resources. You got a couple of coins. Some people got social security checks coming in, all kind of stuff. You didn't have that luxury when you were younger. Once again, this may be why it's the time to go back to school, to pursue that, that passion, that dream. You want to be an artist. You want to start a podcast. You want to model. You want to go to law school. You want to be an accountant. Okay, now may be the perfect time to pursue that dream. Now, another thing too, when we're younger, man, we into that social proof. We're following the crowd. We're doing things that we think are cool. We're doing things that other people are doing and we swear it's the right thing to do. When you get older and wiser, you are more authentic. The real you comes out. Everybody, wait a minute. I can I didn't do that then because I didn't know who the heck I was. <laughs> you you were bam, you were pretending and fronting and all kind of stuff. Authenticity comes with age. It's okay to be you. All the bumps and bruises and warts and whatever comes with it. That authenticity could be your ticket to success. You can't be somebody else. Everybody else is already taken. You need to be you. If you ever studied uh, Maslow's hierarchy of needs, they got the foundation down there, the basic needs, you know, securities, food, water, shelter, going up to the top of the list. You get to the top of the list and the pinnacle is called self-actualization. Self-actualization is, in a nutshell, is what will you put on this earth to do? So if you traverse this magic law's hierarchy, you're climbing that ladder. You took care of the basics. You took care of the esteem. You took care of the security. Now it's time to take care of you. Self-actualize. You are coming into yourself. That's why now is the most perfect time and why it may not have been earlier. And another thing I want you to consider as you contemplate embarking on your dream. I'm not just talking about old dreams. You can also dream some new dreams. It's not too late for that either. Maybe you successfully accomplished some of those original dreams. And now you have some new ones. Or you put some of those old ones on the shelf. When you take the benefit of all the things I've just said, you can actually inspire others you can give back you can help someone else accomplish their dreams you could be the spokesperson the embodiment the personification of what it means to pursue your dreams so you don't have to even make it all about you i can't tell you how many people have been inspired when they see the gatewood brothers out there performing some have actually told me others i've watched so wait a minute these people, they had a band 20 years ago. All of a sudden, they're back out there. They got the little shanty vest on and do some backup singers behind them. <laughs> and I'm like, woo, woo, woo. Go ahead. So you can also make that one of your objectives. Take some of the emphasis off yourself and help some of these people who are sitting on the fence, who feel like life is over. They've had some hard knocks. They felt like life has passed them by and they just waited to sit on the rocking chair and go off into the sunset. I'm saying don't do that because your age does not limit your capabilities, your aspirations. The only thing that does that is your lack of creativity and imagination. So I'm going to say today as I close this, it's never too late to pursue your dream, no matter what your health, what your age. It's never too late to dust off some of those past dreams that you put on the shelf, that they were deferred. I'm telling you today, right here from the marketing pulpit, let's get out here and do it. 2024, it's your time. It's your time. 
folks, that's going to wrap it up for today. Now, we plan to be back next week. If not, then we can go back and replay this because I think we have some nuggets here. I really appreciate everybody tuning in today. You've been a great audience. And share this information. If you know somebody who's been who's feeling a little dejected, feel like life has passed them by, let them hear these words of inspiration. Let them know. It's okay. It's never too late to pursue those dreams. Folks, this is the Marketing Pulpit Show. I'm Robert Gatewood, your host. I want to thank everybody for tuning in. I see all the nice people in the feed. Thank you for your attention. And whatever you have going on this weekend, next week, as we go into the holiday season, from the Marketing Pulpit, we are asking for peace on earth. We're asking for you to have a good holiday. Asking for you to go into 2024 with a new sense of determination and vigor. I want you to go out here and help somebody. I want you to go out here and let people know it's okay. I want to say thank you again to uh, Sheldon. Thank you for the compliments. And uh, Mr. Brown said he's going to go back and study piano. <laughs> Mr. Brown, love you, my brother. That's the kind of that's the kind of news I love to hear. And I'm sure when you get off this platform today, you're going to sit in that corner and you're going to think about it. You're going to say, man, that's just what I needed to hear this morning. Because I heard it from somebody. <laughs> and then you have to keep passing. I tell you one on my closing today. As I was driving down to North Carolina this past weekend, I was uh, sitting in the drive through I went through Wendy's. I ordered me a uh, single burger, small, because I'd eaten breakfast, but I was still a little hungry. And I ordered me a small Frosty. I drove up to the window, and I told the lady, put this on my card. And she said, Merry Christmas. I said, okay, that's nice, but uh, I want to pay for this meal so I can keep moving. <laughs> you know what she told me? She said, a person in front of you paid for your meal. Man, that simple act of kindness, I'm just not going to tell you. It opened up a floodgate. I'm like, man, so sometimes we get stuck in our our silos of dejection and hard time and things aren't going our way. Sometimes all we need is that one little spark, that one little act of kindness to pass it on to somebody else. And you can impact lives in profound ways that you cannot imagine. On that note, folks, have a happy holiday. Let's go into 2024 with a new spirit of determination and can do. You're not too old. And we'll see you next year if I'm not here on the air. I'm just going to put up a couple of notes. People are chiming in. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And Mr. Brown, that piano man, I'm telling you, started that piano lesson. Man, you made my day. This is the Marketing Pulpit. We'll be back next week at the same time. And if you want to be successful, you have to do these three things. Do the right thing. Do it at the right time. And you have to do it right. Enough talk. Let's get to work. Remember this line, Mary.